Hello and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss Enjoy and I'm here to do the love and soulmate connection reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Cross Watchers are welcome here as well for June 1st through the 15th. This reading is not intended for singles. My readings are gender fluid and also apply to same-sex couples. Simply choose the masculine or feminine energy that best applies to you. I do, need, do not read reversals. I use many decks as clarifiers. I do not tell you what zodiac sign you may or may not be dealing with because you may not know all the planetary placements within you or your partner's natal zodiac charts. I do not give outcomes because when dealing with love, every individual should rely on free will to make decisions in matters of the heart. I am simply here to enlighten and advise. If I do not resonate with you, please feel free to seek another reader. There are lots of wonderful readers and light workers out there who may have the message that is intended for you. Never allow a reading to ruin your energy. Hi, Pisces. How are you doing, my fishies? How you swimming? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. Okay, hi. <laughs> thank you, returning viewers. And if you are a subscriber, especially, thank you very much. If you are new here, thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Please, everybody, take the time to stop and like and subscribe, please, so that we can reach a thousand subscribers and then start to have some live chat where we can maybe answer some questions, do some, some uh, cool, fun spreads, and just chat and get to know each other. Okay, thank you very much. I'm here for you today, my Pisces, to do your love and soulmate connection reading for June 1st through the 15th. I'm going to start with my Lisa Frank Major Arcana deck, and I'm going to pull one general card for your overall energy of the relationship. And then I'm going to get into your masculine and feminine energies and see what's going on with y'all to see how y'all waters are flowing and how you're swimming, how you're just swimming. Okay. All right, so we're going to ask spirit, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers to please be with us to deliver a positive message for my Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for June 1st through the 15th to my love and soulmate connection. We have a positive, progressive, informative message. And one card, please. We're going to start for spirit with the, for the overall relationship. And I'm going to take the bottom card that fell out there. Thank you very much, spirit and it's the tower card okay don't panic because tower is not always a bad thing sometimes the tower all towers are good things whether it's a bad occurrence or a good occurrence it's simply an event or a realization it could be a realization leading up to change okay and change in some form is always positive. Change is always positive in some form. It's either going to clear out some old shit and clear and bring in some new, or you know, it, it's like to you, you have to rebuild after something is wrecked. So that that's always a good thing. A fresh new. We, we, there's nowhere to go from up from a tower card. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get into the masculine energy. Thank you, spirit. Please talk to me about the masculine energy from my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For June 1st through the 15th, masculine energy, please, there for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The masculine energy, please, spirit, for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, spirit. The masculine energy for my Pisces, Sun, Moon rising and Venus, please spirit, the masculine energy for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please spirit, three cards, please spirit, for my masculine energy, for my Pisces, what is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing spirit, for June 1st through the 15th, what is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing, what do we have, I'm going to take the bottom three, All right, Spirit. All right, we have the World card, the Six of Staff, and the Lover's card. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, we're going to talk about the Feminine Energy now. We're going to seek guidance about the Feminine Energy Spirit from my Pisces. Please talk to me about the Feminine Energy from my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 1st through the 15th for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 1st through the 15th, for my Pisces, Feminines, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for my Feminine Energy, for my Pisces, 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feminine Energy, please, Spirit. Feminine Energy, please, Spirit. All right, three cards, please, for my feminines. What are my feminines feeling, thinking? Did you flip all the way over? No. Okay. This is a very, this deck speaks very quickly. Okay. What is feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? What is feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? This one was trying to come out. That is too many. What is one more card, please, for my feminines? What is feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? Okay. Deck was talking. So we have the Five of Staffs, the Justice card, and the Eight of Staffs. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of staffs. We definitely have a soulmate connection here. At least masculine is realizing that because we have the Lovers card here. We have the World card, so he's definitely realizing that what he wants and that and he's moving forward toward that. Toward his this soulmate connection. Down here we have you blocking. And the justice card. And the eight of staffs. Okay, so let's get some clarification to find out why we're blocking our masculine here. What happened? What is this tower moment? So this could be what we either... What has either happened or needs to happen. Or something that has happened to make you realize something. Or what needs to happen to make you realize something. Because clearly masculine is on a forward moving path toward this love and soulmate connection. And we got feminine down here saying, wait a minute. Slow down. Something about some justice and what we deserve. And then the eight of staffs. So, I'm saying that she needs to see some type of specific movement. Something spe very specific needs to take place, I'm getting, for this, this feminine to accept this masculine charging in here with the six of staffs. Because here, he's charging in. He's got his, his wand and his, his staff in his hand. He's got a crew with him underneath down there. And they're rolling. They're moving forward. They're coming. Okay? And that's facing. That's toward... He's realizing this is my world. This is what I want to do. This is the feminine in this this picture. This is the one. To, this is the one that we want. Okay. Like John Travolta and, and uh, oh God, who was that? What was her name? It's on the tip of my tongue from the eighties. The aerobic chick, Olivia Newton-John. You're the one that I want in Greece. First one. We know now, okay? All right, so we're going to clarify. We're going to clarify in the masculine energy. Please clarify. We're going to clarify the masculine energy. Let me shuffle that into the energy, into the cards. Claire, we're going to clarify the masculine energy, please, spirit. I'm going to clarify the masculine energy for my Pisces, please, spirit. I'm going to clarify the masculine energy for my Pisces, please, spirit. We're going to clarify the masculine energy for my Pisces, please, spirit. Okay, please clarify the world card. In the masculine energy, please, spirit. Two cards to clarify the world card. In the masculine energy, please, spirit, for my Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in this love and soulmate connection. I'm going to take those two. They were trying to come out. And the shadow side. Uh-oh. And the Nine of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, he he knows. He knows that you're you're blocking him. What 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 happened? What happened? There's some toxicity. What happened? Okay, come on. Please clarify the six of staffs and the masculine energy. Please clarify the six of staffs and the masculine energy, please, spirit. Please clarify the six of staffs and the masculine energy, please, spirit. Please clarify the six of staffs and the masculine energy. All right. So we have 
the Six of Cups, and the Star card. Okay. <laughs> please clarify the Lover's card. And the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit, clarify the Lover's card. And the Masculine Energy, please, Spirit, clarify the Lover's card. And the Masculine Energy. I mean... Uh, and we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. What y'all been doing? <laughs> We're going to clarify for the feminine energy before I turn around and talk to y'all. Before I have to jump in here and do some calling out and talking mess too. Before I start talking my ish. We're going to see what's going on with the feminines. Um, <clears throat> we're going to clarify in the feminine energy from my Pisces, please. We're going to clarify the feminine energy. This is, you got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands showing up after the Lover's card. If there's not more of a soulmate connection speaking to me here, I don't know what it is. The world card, you move, but there's some type of, to there's toxic energy. Y'all can't stop. Mm -hmm. We're going to clarify the feminine energy, please, Spirit. We're going to clarify the, the feminine energy, please, Spirit. We're going to clarify the feminine energy, please, Spirit, for my Pisces. Clarify this for me, please. Clear this up. Clear this up. Because if it's what I'm, the message is, please clarify the five of wands, please, Spirit. Well, the five of staffs. This one was trying to come out. I'm taking it. Please clear, clarify the five of staffs and the feminine energy. Please, spirit, clarify the five of staffs and the feminine energy. Is this what I think it is? Please, spirit, clarify the five of staffs and the feminine energy. Please, spirit. This is too much. I'm taking the one face up. And why did I know that it was going to be... That card. How did I know? I believe I told you all about this sometime in April. And you didn't listen. I did. I had this message with Pisces. Or a, pre, a message leading up to this reading for Pisces in April. I don't know if it was because I, I did some one week reading then readings that first month and then I moved into doing bi-weeklies so I'm not sure whether it was a weekly or bar had I gone to I believe it was a weekly I believe it was in one of my very first messages you you, you didn't listen if you were there you didn't listen and or you should have been here to see that reading because maybe had you had listened I was new then a lot of people weren't watching me so you may not have had the chance to receive that message but you should have because I have the five of swords, the five of staffs here. I'm sorry. Followed up by the three of swords and the three of cups. So when I said, ladies and gentlemen, Pisceans and cross watchers, whoever you are in this situation. When I said back in April, three is a crowd or something of that nature. Was the title of the, the, the I advised not to enter into a willing third party situation. What I meant was. Stay away from the, the, the menage a trois and the threesomes. That's what I was saying. Okay? That or some of you, for some of you, some of you are in it together. Because that's what I was getting. Okay? Alright? And I'm getting that for some of you, if this was a separate thing. You were both out there doing your own thing because you're showing up as the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. I'm so serious. And then there's the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups down here. And then up here, we've got this shadow side 
followed by the nine of wands the six of wands the six of cups and the star card so that was that wish fulfillment that came up back in that original pisces so somebody in, and, and it was that masculine was trying to get feminine to have a third party a threesome and i advised against it in that particular video okay so now here we are and because the five of stabs is here first that's a blockage of these situations so now at this point you've done the do that i told you not to do to do and now feminine is blocking this feminine is saying i'm done doing the do this is not my shit some shit has popped off some sh something has happened this is the tower moment it may have been cool to try it but apparently something went wrong for somebody and I don't know who's looking more sinister up here. The King of Wands or the Queen of Wands. Because both of you look like the cat that ate the canary. I call this particular King of Wands my perv card. And that particular Queen of Wands, you know, we tend to play it cooler than the gentlemen do. But if you look at them both, they both look like they up to some shit. Do they not? Do they not both look like they up to something? Look at those pictures. He's sitting there with his hand underneath that 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 blanket on his wand and smirking like, yeah, uh-huh. Giggity giggity. And she's sitting there like, mm-hmm. What? Who? Me? You know how females do. You know how we do feminines. Okay? And that's a couple. And this is a love and soulmate connection. So, I um, first message from my feminines, I wanted to tell you to stop worrying about the situation, whatever's going on, okay? You made that step up and gave him what he wanted, even though all that type of behavior is always from a toxic place. It's always pretty much coming from a toxic place. I don't think it's healthy behavior and movement. I'm not going to say I have not done it because I definitely have, but I ended up here exactly where my piscean feminine in this situation is whether this is you whether you're cross watching whatever the case may be i ended up saying no more this is just pain and heartache here the three the, is too much with the three of swords here because see in this particular depiction of the three of swords there's no heart that usually in the three of swords there's a heart that the three of swords are going through but are piercing but in this particular depiction there's no heart there's just three of swords with three different animals uh, birds actually on top so i'm i'm not getting that there's really a lot of pain and heartache just possibly a lot of drama and arguing they came and this is clearly that sharing so uh three you know, that that's that's definitely that threesome card. Look at them. That's three of them together and they's having a good time, okay? But you're saying, I don't want to do this shit anymore. I deserve different. I deserve better. So now we're going to clarify this justice card. And apparently something happened here with this tower moment or with just a realization. You just woke up and said, something, I don't like this. Because sometimes shit just doesn't go right in the situations. Because in my situation, specifically, the masculine, my masculine was actually able to see what was going wrong in those situations. And it actually turned out that it really wasn't either his fault nor my fault. Well, at a point. There was some shit he wasn't doing right. But even when he corrected those things, it was still the fault of the third party. Or not really the fault, because you don't want to place blame, but it was just something that was off balance with having a third party there, period. Okay? And when I had to have him realize, you know, why would I keep doing this when this Abe keeps going on? And he was in total agreement. So, I'm not saying that it's something that we wouldn't possibly be open to in the future in the right, under the right circumstance. Because I fully believe in poly. In poly love and poly situations given the proper circumstance. But just on a fling for sexual reasons purpose, no. Now, if we find somebody we feel like is a true soulmate and a good fit, then possibly. But I'm not getting that here. This year was strictly for the dickly and a sexual connotation 
and it didn't go well and feminine's like no i don't like this type of thing this type of lifestyle is not for me whether it was something that really happened that made her realize this or just what she wasn't uncomfortable whatever whatever she's done she's blocking these third this the threesome thing she's done so masculine quit asking okay if feminine says she's done if wifey says she's done she's done let it go. You had that fun. You had that experience. Most men, a lot of men don't even get that experience. Be grateful that you had that, that she gave you that, that she loved you enough to share her shit with another bitch, which she knew could lead to all kinds of bullshit, drama and trauma and stress. Be grateful that you got that experience. Take it for what it was. Let it go and move on. It's something you did together. It's something you've made it through together. So just press forward. Stop being a little bitch and still wanting to do it. Let it go. You had it. It was good. Let it go. That's not a lifetime plan for everybody. Not on that level. And not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's really not. Okay? And the feminist realizing that it's not for her, then you need to move on. Because you didn't enter into this with the agreement that you were going to include a third party. Unless you're from Ghana somewhere or some country where that is allowed. Okay? Unless that's your culture. That may not, that's not for everybody. Polly is not for everybody. Okay? We're going to clarify the justice card. Although I just told you what it was about. We're still going to go on and let the cards tell you to reiterate what the spiritual advisor is saying. One more card, please. He gave me two. So feminine is really speaking about what I don't want. What no, She gave me four. Okay. I got four. I got the two of cups. Right, right, right. I don't want to share no more. This is my shit. I deserve this and my man to myself. Two of cups. That's what I deserve. Okay. The wheel of fortune. So this shit needs to change. It's going to stop. King of swords. Um, this is the truth here. And this needs to go back to being about just me. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you my truth. This is what I need to happen for me. Okay, I love myself. I don't like this shit. This is not for me. Okay? She's speaking her truth. She's telling you what's good. I advise you listen. Masculine. Okay? Clarify the eight of staffs. Clarify the eight of staffs. And she's saying she needs to see change now. Clarify the eight of staffs, please, spirit. For my, my feminine energy, please. Clarify the eight of staffs. Clarify the eight of staffs, please. Clarify the eight of staffs. Oh, 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 that's a lot. I'll take it. I'll take it. Apparently, there's a lot that needs to be said by my feminine. I'll take it. The cards are venting. Okay, so was I holding you? Yep, sure was. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, right. So the eight of staffs, followed by the the queen of cups and the five of cups. And then the eight of swords, the two of wands, the king of pentacles, and the king of wands. <laughs> Eight of Swords. This needs to change right now. You need to stop worrying about me, worrying me about this, and and fix this right now. This needs to stop. Um, the Queen of Cups. This is my life, my marriage. You're my man. I need to. I need to feel restored in that. I need to be back in my power. I. I this is my position. And nobody needs to be coming in here making me feel like less than here with the Five of Cups. Here with the Eight of Swords. 
We need to talk about this. There needs to be open conversation and communication. We need to heal. This is healing in this particular Eight of Swords. There need to be healing conversations and discussions about this. With the Two of Wands, we need to work on this together. I need to know that you're in the same place, that we're on the same page, that we're making this change, that we're working on this together. Okay? Then here with the King of Pentacles... I, I'm getting that we just have other shit to worry about than, than you wanting to run around here and be a hoe. You need to be more focused on getting this money, paying these bills, building our life, and doing what we have to do than being a king of swords. Then worrying about, I mean, the king of wands. Then worrying about where who 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 the next conquest is. Okay, you've lived that life. You're no longer single. Hopefully you had plenty before me. Hopefully you'll have, you know, hopefully this experience was the end of what you, the experiences that you needed to have or felt that you needed to, those, that, that bucket list. Hopefully you check this off now. You've had that great, wonderful, awesome threesome. Can we move on from here? Can you please stop pouting here with the five of cups about this shit? And can we please move on and heal and get to a better place and work together and have reciprocity and understanding and respect and focus on our money and the shit we have to do instead of where the fuck you gonna lay your pipe at, your wand at next, okay? Because this is a marriage and a love and a soulmate connection here with this damn two of cups and the wheel of fortune. So all this feminine is done with this. Stop, okay? It was a wonderful, great experience. She don't want to do it no more. She don't want no more. No more. Okay? She doesn't want to do it anymore. Now, what I hear a lot from swinger lifestyles is that a lot of times the man and the woman get into the lifestyle and somebody wants to stop and somebody doesn't. But guess what? That still has to be a mutual decision. So that's why this seven of swords here, that's why this healing, this communication, and this need to work together with the two of wands and be on the same page. Okay? That's why there's this need for this conversation. So this is why I told you don't do this in the first damn place. For those of you who saw that video. If you didn't see that video, go back and find that video. I tries. I tries to warn y'all. I tries to warn y'all. But no. Nobody want to listen to the spiritual lady. Okay. So now we have the tower moment. And the realizations. And the hard conversations, and the hard work, and the spilled cups, and the anxiety, and the healing. So let's everybody put away their wands. And I hope that everybody's been putting condom on their condoms on their wands. I really do. So let's everybody put the wands away. Only share the wands with each other, king of queen and wands, and your lovely soulmate connection. See this? Look at y'all. Nasty selves. <laughs> okay. I'm just messing with y'all. Like I said, I've been there and I've done that. And my advice is don't do that. It takes a very strong, and there are very few that really do it get and get and are honestly happy getting through it. And to where it really doesn't ruin the entire fucking relationship. There are very few. I'm just quite honest with you. Very few. But I know some. I know a couple that have made it. But it's a very unique situation. They're very unique situations. And very, very unique people. Okay? It ain't for everybody. And if feminine is saying it's not for her masculine, let it go. Okay? Everybody move forward from this. Have the good, hard, healing conversations that need to occur to get past this. Feminine deserves what she wants and how she wants to be treated and the type of relationship and life that she wants to live. If you can't do that, you need to go find one of those chicks that's into that every day and let her go find a man who's not interested in that. Then that's what you need to do because there's somebody for everybody. But this is your soulmate. So I think you might need to take a couple steps back and rethink this. Okay, stop putting this type of pressure on her or making her feel like this is a requirement for you. This is not a requirement. 
She didn't sign on for that. It's something that she might have done because she loves you and wanted to make you happy. You got that. Be happy. Move on. Okay? All right, guys. I love you. Good luck with this, Pisces. I'll see you again for the end of June. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.